All right, we all know this is the case as we get heading into summer, construction ramps up all over the metro, and that includes bike trails. It could cause just as many disruptions. Meteorologist Gabe Pro checked in with the city of Des Moines to see what closures could impact your summer, Gabe? Yeah, it's kind of a bummer, right? Uh, the weather's turning warm, you're ready to bring the bike out, and then the trail is closed that you're trying to get on to. We've already seen several of those this summer, some caused by construction, others by river flooding in recent weeks. It's been years since we've had that be an issue. More closures are expected, though. That includes a portion of the Bill Riley Trail that stretches from Gray's Lake into Waterworks Park, and there's several other phases to that construction as well. It's unfortunate timing, but it's work that city officials and biking enthusiasts agree needs done. Several trails are under construction right now just because of the time of year to optimize contractors, utilize existing funding. There's some of the funding that's federal funding that has a clock on it, so we want to get that funding utilized into our trail network. We're addressing historic trails, some of our oldest trails in the system, being the Bill Riley Trail. It's funny, every year like people, uh, people talk to us about the trails, and we have been hearing from folks who have been frustrated with the, uh, with the closures. It's one of those things, it's kind of like puberty, it stinks, but once it's over, you get to do the fun stuff again. So true, isn't it? Uh, construction on the trails will be completed in phases. You see right here the Bill Riley Project. That's going to last until the fall. Of course, not all of it at once, though, will be closed until then. And uh, other portions of trails along the levees of the West could stretch into the spring of next year. Here you see some other trails in the downtown area. These are also going to be completed through the spring and summer. Uh, so lots of work to be done, kind of a mix of getting and taking advantage of the funding. But of course, it just has to happen during the summertime. Hopefully even next right. summer, though, we'll have more to look forward to. Yeah, Gabe, quick question. Is there some place people can go to like look up this information before you head out on your bike? Yeah, we're going to have a link on our website, who13.com, that takes you to a part of the city of Des Moines website that has awesome. a map, actually. And there's even a text service you can sign up for to talk about the latest trail closures. Okay. Fancy. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. All right, thanks, Gabe.